Hey basketball players, if you want to be a fantastic center in the low post offensively, this is going to be the video that you are going to need to watch all the way through. Okay, so the low post is an area of the court where some players shy away from or they absolutely love it way too much. There's no middle ground where you just kind of be like, okay, I want to be in the low post, I want to destroy and then I want to go and stretch out to the three point line. You usually get like that if you're a little bit older, but at the younger age, you're either really short and you're shying away from the position, or you're really tall and you hate it because uh, other players are just like, ah, it's easier, blah, 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 or whatever it may be. But this is a position that you're gonna, you should actually love. No matter if you're a point guard, shooting guard, or center, I have had the privilege to play every single position on the court, and I love the low post the best. Even though I love jacking up three-point shots, I love being able to come off the screens and shoot the three-point shot and get the assist, whatever it may be. I absolutely love the low post. I wish I was seven foot two so I could play it my whole entire life. Now, I'm not, I'm six foot two. So from there, in the low post, some tips that you're gonna actually need to have in your arsenal is to first off, know what your defender is doing. If he's trying to push you out, use what he is giving to you, which is if he's trying to push you out, he, that means that he is trying to move you away from the net, which then you can use that to your advantage, which comes down to the first tip. And that is to use what your defender is giving it to you. So just like how the cops say to people who are getting arrested, everything that you do and say can be used against you in the court of law. Well, everything that your defender does to you in the low post can be used against him in the court of basketball. So basically what that means is if he's trying to push you out and you can feel he's only pushing you on the left side, you can turn really quickly. Now you've got better position. You've got position, nobody between you and the net. You can now start pushing him out, get the law pass over him and go up uncontested. Another one is if he's, if you're a lot bigger and stronger and he's just kind of standing his ground, you can use that to your advantage now because now you can get that ball, you can really pound him underneath and get into the rim. Meanwhile, if he's taller, he likes to jump, you can now start doing moves where you get that ball, you get that ball, and you do kind of like a fake and up and under because if he's a bit taller, he might want to jump. He might want to block that shot because a lot of taller players are very happy and block happy where they just want to be able to block every single shot. So you can use that against him as well. But also you need to use your own size to your advantage too. You can't just be going, going on what the, what the defender is giving to you. So for example, myself, if I am posting up a taller player, I don't want to be having him front facing me because they're not going to be able to lob it over him. So what I need to do as a shorter player is to be able to stand my ground and don't let him push me around. Now, if he's a really good defender, uh, there's not much you can do when it comes to fakes because he's just gonna be like this and there's not much you can do. However, there are ways around that where you can do fadeaways. You can turn without dribbling the ball, turn, take the shot fake, and then take a one dribble step back and now you've created that much more space and you can do a high arcing shot. So you can use your size and even the defender size to your advantage. Now back in the day, Michael Jordan could post up players from the perimeter. We've had Shaq. Shaq was also another one who did this move and that is basically getting that ball and just pounding, pounding, pounding until he gets his guy underneath the rim and then he smashes the ball on him. There's not much you can do with that anymore. There's a lot of players who are now playing help defense where if you put the ball down more than one or two times, any more than that, and they're gonna be coming down, collapsing, double teaming, triple teaming you, and there's not much you can do at that point other than passing it out, which is still an alternative. I'm not gonna lie. You can pass it out, get the assist. However, if you really wanna be a dominant scorer in the low post, you're only gonna be using one to two dribble basketball ball, basketball fake moves, stuff like that, what will allow you to score. You don't want to be pounding it, pounding it, pounding it multiple times. You just want to do a quick, quick move that will allow you to score. Shoulder fakes are fantastic, by the way. If you want to be able to be a fantastic scorer in the low post, use your shoulder, shoulder fakes 
fantastic. And also you need to remember to use fakes as well. So like I was saying with the shoulder fakes, those work really well. Another fake is a shot fake where you can get that ball and then you can take one dribble up and under shot fake and you can go up with your left hand. Or you can get that ball, do a shot fake, go bang to the other side and get that in. And then you're using the rim as a defender towards the defender himself so that he can't block your shot. So there's multiple different moves. If you want, and if I remember, I will link them below in the top comment. And anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. I hope that these tips help you become a better basketball player and a better center. If they do, let us know in the comments, and I will see you guys again tomorrow for another twice-a-day basketball video.